Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I use my Griffin Paramate USB knob with Expert SDR. So I had this thing lying around for uh, some quite some time and it's a USB knob um, <coughs> and I thought it might be nice if I could use this uh, Paramate as a VFO knob for my Expert SDR. Well, that's not too difficult, um, but the big problem is Expert SDR has to be active, has to be the active application, otherwise the knob will control some other application. So I had two challenges, how to get the application active, the active application, and then turn the dial, turn the VFO knob. So what I did, I used the um, Paramate software that came with the Paramate and I've created a Apple script in the default portion that means it's running always um, regardless of the app that you're uh, that you're running that's active and um, I configured the press function so if I press the knob an Apple script will be uh, executed and the Apple script that I use is this one it's a very simple script. It tells the application expert SDR, Sun SDR2 to activate and that the script stops. That's everything. So if I run this script, the expert SDR is becoming the active window. And again, if I run it again, it's becoming the active window. So this Apple script is connected to the press action of my Paramate. So if I press the knob on the Paramate, the Expert SDR application becomes the active one. So that's step one. The next step will be turning the VFO knob, of course. Now to turn the VFO using my Paramate in Expert SDR, it's actually pretty simple. But I didn't want to use the arrow keys up and down for this action because the arrow keys up and down may be used in a different way in other applications. So first of all I go into options and assign a shortcut, a different shortcut for frequency up and down. To do it go into options then find shortcuts and then find frequency up and frequency down. To enter a shortcut just press this button and for frequency up, I use the option key arrow to the right. And for frequency down, I use option left. So hold down the option key, press the left button. So these two's, two are assigned, apply and okay. So if I use my keyboard, hold down the option key and press right, the frequency changes up and left, the frequency changes down. Next, I'm going to sign this to a action in my Paramate manager. I select the expert SDR as the application. If it's not on this list, by the way, you can add it by clicking the plus sign. The finder will pop up and you can select the expert SDR program. There are two rotation um, options in the, in the software. So first I use the rotate left and I set the action to a keyboard shortcut. And the keyboard shortcut, well, it's already defined because I did it before. So it's option left, that's uh, the shortcut for frequency down. And uh, same goes for the uh, rotate right. So the option, if I clear it, just click on the field, hold down the option key and press right, the right arrow. So this is for frequency up. To test it, I'll press the button, the Paramate button, so the application becomes active and I turn the knob and you see you can, I can change the frequency. This is all good, but what happens if the application is not the uh, active application? And I turn the knob, you can see the Paramate no uh, field becoming gray if I activate the knob. So now I'm turning the knob, nothing happens. 
So to do that, I used a different script, um, Apple script for that. And I'll show you that next. Of course, I can first click the button, the power make button for the expert SDR to become the active window and then use my knob to change frequency. But I would like to change the frequency even if there's a different program active. So what I did is um, create an Apple script that does two things. Um, it activates expert SDR and then starts uh, changing the frequency. So to do that, I go into the default section, not in the app expert SDR because that maybe is not the active application. Go into the default and change the action for rotate left. It's set to scrolling. So that means if I'm in a browser screen and I can scroll, uh, turn the knob, I can scroll um, my browser screen. So that's not what I, what I want. So to do that, I change scrolling action to Apple script. And then I select an Apple script. Um, <clears throat> so this is this is going to be rotating left means turning the VFO down. So this is the script I'm going to open. And I'll show you the script. <clears throat> Actually, pretty basic. So first I tell the application expert SDR2 to become active. So it's active, the active window. Then I tell the application system events to enter the key code one, two, three using the option down. And one, two, three is the code key code for the left arrow. So the left key code, the left arrow using the option key down and an end tell. So that's the script is finished. That's this script. And for the right scrolling, of course, I have a different script. Choose the Apple script the VFO up. So what I do if I change, turn my uh, power mate knob to the right, it'll first activate expert SDR and then start um, increasing the frequency. So you can see it's becoming active and changing the frequency up and down. And of course it also works in turning left. So again, if there's a different application that's active, and if I turn the power mate knob, it becomes active and rotates. That means if I'm in a logbook program or in a different web browser or something happens and I want to change frequency pretty quickly, then I just turn the knob or click the knob. So that's the way I use my power mate um, to change VFO and to select expert SDR uh, in a quickly manner. So these are just two examples of how to use the Griffin PowerMate with Expert SDR. But you can also use it for different uh, things. Like for instance, when you're in Expert SDR, you could use the press action to tune the radio or change the break-in function of your CW key, whatever. Uh, or maybe if you use the rotate while pressed function, you can change the bands or change mode, whatever you like. So if you have any questions, just write them down in the comment section and I'll try to answer them. And thank you for watching this video.